In today's video, I'm going to show you four projects that are real easy to do, the longer Ray 5 10 watt laser. Okay, so I've got some cheap cardstock, black cardstock that you pick up at the dollar store or someplace like that. The only thing, reason this is here is I'm going to do an alignment uh, box. So when I put the business card down, it'll line up and it'll line up with the picture that I have. So just a quick line etch. And there we go, line the business card up. As far as uh, settings, I'm using 4,500 millimeters a minute for the speed and 20% power. Uh, and the other thing you definitely want to do is make sure your laser is focused uh, very well on your, your project. So let that run. It's saying it's going to take about 13 minutes or so. And that's what we have. Pretty cool. Okay, another project very similar to the other is just using a stainless steel business card. Again, I'll have links to these down below. I'm gonna put the card stock down the same way we did for the other so we can get our alignment. We'll do the frame out. Start the project. This is basically just going to be some text on the card so you could do, in essence, business cards or some other text. And we're going to kick it off. This is going to be a lot slower uh, to actually get the engrave on a, a stainless steel card that isn't anodized. Uh, you have to go a little bit higher power and slower. So for this, I'm doing 500 uh, millimeters a minute for speed and 75% power. And that's text on stainless steel. But truthfully, with the anodized cards or stainless steel cards, diode lasers do work. And this longer laser is pretty impressive. It does do a good job with those. Uh, to do a lot of those, you're going to want to move over to a fiber laser. But this is not a bad way to go with the longer Ray 5 uh, 10 watt. Continuing along to the next project that we're doing, uh, we're going to do, do a little bit of etching on leather. This is a refrigerator magnet. All right, so for speed for this, I'm doing uh, 5,500 millimeters a minute, and then the power is 35%. It's a fill, and we'll kick this off, and here we go. Uh, the other really important thing with this is when you're doing leather or pretty much anything that you're burning, you really need to have a good ventilation system. The ventilation system I have is this six-inch uh, piping that runs up to an exhaust fan, and that exhaust fan ends up going out of my garage. You're going to want to have that because if you don't, all that smoke you're producing is going to be really stinky. You're burning leather. It stinks. So that's actually going up inside my ventilation. So definitely a good way to go. And that's lasering on leather. Uh, every time I do one of these, I always forget just how much these smell. To clean these or any of the stuff that I do on laser engraving, this works on wood as well as on leather, tile, whatever, is a chemical called LA Awesome. And I use just a magic eraser sponge or melamine wipe, and you just spray a little bit on it. And wipe down what you have. And it definitely will dry up and look really good. And it gets rid of the crud. Final design that I'm going to do for you today is a, is a wood project. This wood project is a sports related theme and it's available through Hometown Creations. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I'll put the links down below. And they put out some good projects that are, that are pretty cool to do. So you'll see it in the end and we're going to set this up. So I've already got the wood laid out, three millimeter Baltic birch. And I just want to frame it one last time, make sure we're, we're lined up with what we need to do. <clears throat> I'm scaling this down to about six inches. You could scale it up, scale it down. Uh, I'm just going to do something small and quick to show you what uh, this longer Ray 510 is capable of doing. As I said, it's a cut out of the wood and it's also an etch. 
Uh, usually when you do this, you want to do your etching first rather than do your cut first, because if you do your cut first, it could drop down, it'll set off your focus and, and create issues. So do your etches first and your cut second, and we should be good to go. Going to get our ventilation fan on because we're burning wood and we don't want to breathe that in and we'll let it go. So that's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, it's saying 32 minutes, but I, I suspect it's going to be longer than that. Uh, we'll stop back and take a look. Well, that's finished up. We'll pop it off, take a look. Nice little multi-layer. And again, like I said, to clean up the char on these, just a little bit of that LA Awesome cleaner. This stuff is really good. When that dries up, it'll look really good. These are four of the projects that you can do on the longer Ray 5 10 watt laser. Go ahead and check out some of the links to the video above and have a great day.